Welcome to Insurance Alert Broadcast. I am Vivek Jain here, Editor in Chief. Today we are going to talk to CMO of India First Life Insurance Company Limited, Miss Sonia Notani. With Miss Notani, we are going to find out what is the role of education in the marketing strategy of any insurance company. So let's talk to her. Question to you was, ki what do you think is the role of education? in marketing strategy so uh, so i think that's a very very good question and a very rarely asked questions today you know uh, i'll go back a few years in time when i was doing my mba almost two decades ago we used to learn the four p's of marketing strategy right so we used to talk about product price place and promotion and uh, so much has changed since those days because uh, there are so many more nuances that have been added the definition of place and promotion has changed with the internet. When we were taught all of this, we didn't consider the internet, the ability for a customer to talk to us. So what has changed? You know, the ecosystem is very important for us to be, uh, you know, actually driving down on what is the importance. So what has changed? Today, there is a B2C connect. Today, any customer can connect with the company at any time. And this is very, very true for uh, especially a, uh, an industry like insurance, because earlier it was highly distribution driven, but today we are directly talking to our consumers. Consumers can connect with us and they connect with our distributors also. So the importance of consistent communication and education is, is very, very high at such a time. The other thing is instant gratification. People take decisions on the fly. They, they want to come online even for service. They want to come and transact. Now, again, if you are uninformed, how do you do this? And thirdly, there is a plethora of information and multimedia. So there is just too much information sometimes. So how you educate becomes equally important. So all these things are now giving rise to a question in the consumer's mind on who to trust and what to trust. This becomes a little more relevant in our industry because in BFSI, and more so even in insurance, uh, you know, we are selling a promise. We are committing to customers. And if they don't understand that, there can be a major gap going forward. So I think in, a, in an industry like ours, where there is a commitment, there is trust, it is important to educate the customer. So customer knows what he's buying. There is nothing tangible. And for enabling that education is extremely important as the larger part of marketing strategy. Right. Uh, but see, what you're talking about is keep post. What about pre? You know, like the problem today in India we have is that people are not even aware. They know what is insurance. It's not key. They don't know. But they don't know, you know, key the advantage or actually they don't know in details. You are absolutely right, sir. I think, uh, you know, the education is end to end. It doesn't matter which life stage of a customer. Is he a lead? Is he a prospect? Or is he purchasing? Now, what has happened with this entire, uh, you know, multimedia and the digital uh, uh, onslaught is that we've actually had an opportunity to give one version of truth to the customer. So not only do we give product videos, we give ideas to uh, even our agents, our distributors, it is important to give the whole picture to the customer and to have one version of truth. So you are absolutely right. It is important for us to educate the customer about his needs, his wants, yeah. and the suitability of the product. What tends to happen is that often the customers, because of this ad additional information, may not know what suits them. So it's very important to do all the three things. You first make the customer aware of why he's buying the product. What need is he fulfilling with that? And which aspects of the product actually in terms of benefit him? We can't only talk about product features. Our education has to be benefit-based. How does it suit the customer? How will it build, bring value to their lives? And how do they extract that value going forward? Because that is also very, very important in the scheme of things. So you are absolutely right. We need the entire value chain. The customer needs to be made more aware. He needs to have not only information, he needs to have accurate information of what the product does. So for example, I believe customers do not really understand, a layman doesn't understand the whole importance or the working of an insurance policy. 
we've always maintained you know an insurance policy apart from protection gives you so much long term benefit and it is literally the only instrument today in india that actually takes care of reinvestment risk we give commitment we give promises and we give promises for 20 years and 30 years there is no other instrument in the market for a retail consumer that is doing that so i think the importance of what insurance is bringing to the table the risk reward matrix the long term protection the protection against dying too young or living too long is done by insurance so i think this is very very important to bring so i will give you some examples of uh, education in insurance and how we as a company have leveraged it in the last 6 to 9 months more so because of the pandemic so we actually launched this entire initiative called ghar baithe insurance and we did it for pre to post so in the pre stage we actually did a whole series of communication where we put up things on the internet as well as wherever we could we actually enabled our distributors also where we actually told the customer about different type of products and the promises that come along with it assurance products protection products how it will work in very simple terms what we also did at that time is we launched what we call customized one pages so we did we put profiles of customers some you know what i am today my life stage is not going to be the same as somebody who is probably retiring or somebody who starting their career we have very different life stages i will worry about my family i will worry about my children i will worry about my loans but somebody who starting their career are worried about very different things and somebody who is retiring is more worried about retirement income how does he do day to day uh, lifestyle so in that context we actually made customer profiles and irrespective of the product at behind the profile we actually customize solutions for the profile we made 24 such profiles and we actually educated our sales force through digital media whether it is whatsapps whether it is email whether it is other such uh, you know facebook and other such mediums we actually gave these different profiles to them to actually educate customers saying look you are at this lifestyle this is the best product fitment for you we can actually solve this need if he comes back saying no i don't want this we had other profiles with other products so we actually did this whole range so that customers understand from where they are sitting what they need to buy and what will suit and fulfill their needs apart from that we also ran what we call an education series this had nothing to do with purchase we basically ran a series called certainty say certainty tak so what is it that you are certain about because in a pandemic you are not certain about anything but what we did is we ran this series it was not asking them to buy it was just educating them in simple words four lines eight lines small poems fun sentences where we were trying to educate them about insurance and its benefits we ran one more series with a comic strip so people read it and they enjoyed it and they actually wanted to participate and learn more so these are various ways in which we got a customer engaged to learn and educate about insurance over and above that we also obviously shared our product collaterals at different times we shared our names and numbers to individual customers saying this is the person closest to you this person can speak in your language you need to connect with us and we ran a whole education series so everything was important the medium was important how are we communicating are we using what medium are you using in a pandemic the language was important are we talking to them in a language they understand the content was important are we selling benefits are we selling a product so we told them about the benefits that will suit them why they need what they need what need will it fulfill and then we educated them about the process because many people didn't know how to purchase so then we told them what they can do how they can connect with us and how they can come to us so this is how we actually dealt with customers who are new who are not in the system who are actually prospects and we are trying to make them customers but even if they don't become my customer they need to understand the importance the need fitment and the possible options available for them when it comes to insurance so we did a whole education series we also did an education series for existing customers sir we are a long time long term industry today when you commit for 15 years you often forget why you've committed and then it is very important in times that are low to remind the customer that look these are the benefits that you have this is what you've done for your family so you have to continue staying invested you have to keep doing these few things and uh, these are the benefits you will receive we also educated them on options because in tough times 
people take difficult decisions so we actually told them look there are we can give you an advance loan if you need to pay your premiums but don't forget why you took your policy we gave grace periods we also gave settlement options we said you know maturity is coming now market is down if it's a variable policy it's a unit linked policy maybe you want to defer by 3 months or 6 months so we gave a whole range of grace period a settlement options a benefit options advance loan options so that customers continue to stay invested remember what is there in their policy we also ran a campaign for nomination we said somebody might have wanted to change their nomination so much has happened in the last 5 10 years so we ran a campaign which educated customers about the importance of nomination and why they should nominate who should who would be the right person how should they protect their nomination and we ran campaign so education sir goes very vast and very large in a bfsi sector and i repeat it is more critical for insurance because we are selling promises we are selling trust we are selling commitment we are selling assurance we don't have any tangible we are not going to sit we are not going to consume we are not going to touch we are not going to feel so a customer has to be very confident and hence education is very critical across the value chain yes but what was the response like whatever you had undertaken in last 8 uh, 9 months so what you think uh, you got the results what you were expecting or not to your mark or maybe more than what you expected no sir i think uh, so the good news is that it was the first time initiative for us to do this digitally because normally we go through distributors i thought the response was excellent so for example when we ran our nomination campaign we got so many people who came back and nominated we ran on our loan portfolio we ran a communication campaign we said look we have your phone numbers but if you want to update nomination you want to see what you've done you should put it up we had 7000 people come back and make edits so these are huge validation of why education is important the company was not gaining anything there was no sales orientation right but we wanted to build that commitment that assurance with our customer and even on the sales campaign sir we had excellent response so many customers clicked on our link called those people whose names and numbers we had given and actually transacted or even called to learn so many calls we got where customer just asked us questions because they wanted to understand and learn more so we were very very heartened we in fact launched a multilingual website in april and enabled and we we've seen more than 25000 people in a month coming on a website which is multilingual right i mean otherwise they didn't even know we had hindi telugu and gujarati but people have come on these website pages and uh, actually inquired in lingual in multilingual uh, languages and uh, asked us queries and read our material so there is a lot of uh, uh, education that is happening and customers are welcoming it as we can see because of the traffic and the response yours is basically a bank insurance uh, channel you like your major business comes from banks your so we are a multi channel company okay. uh, our primary channel is bank assurance okay. what has we are about 10 11 years old sir not very old so what we've done is we've grown the ranks we've consolidated our position as banker but now for the last 3 to 5 years we have all the channels and in the last 2 years our focus has been on our elite agency program on our direct to consumer channel on our b2c channels and we have opened up every channel our agency channel is very very critical we have this elite agency program which is doing very well now and we are seeing a lot more uh, people associating with us and we are very heartened to see that sort of uh, commitment coming in but in the market generally not much of uh... agency like lot not lot of agents say that they are agent with your company it's more like people say ki it's, it's a bank assurance company bank ka company and all that so don't you think yes, sir, we are a bank we are owned field? by two banks we are owned by two banks so they will always yeah, be that, our primary yeah. channel yes so they are but we are a multi distribution company with bank assurance as our leading channel we are committed to all our channels and we want to grow across we ca- we cater to 98% of the pin codes sir it is not viable for us to not have a single channel right yeah. so we will we will be part part and partner with every channel who wishes to associate with us our efforts will be to educate support and enable every channel in the organization uh, beside your distributors education and all that you have some plans in times to come not present because now it's, it's for the direct consumers uh, absolutely sir so all these examples i gave you were direct to consumer because in the last 9 months there was a limitation of going yeah. via the distributor 
so we definitely in fact we are growing our direct to consumer channel also uh, it is a very important aspect for us and our our opinion is our distributors are very close partners whether they are bank assurance whether it's agency they are all close. so our single version of truth the one con con communication has to be there across our messaging is the same whether it is direct to consumer whether it's through my agents whether it's through my bank assurance partners at the end of the day we make very simple videos we make these customized segmented one pages we we enable all the channels equally and we give the same information directly to the consumer also okay. and presently you are reaching through uh, social media platforms and all that all of it sir we are, we are very very active on social media okay uh, you are, you all are not active in prints and uh, like tv and all that so what we do is we are very very active in fact our, our public relations uh, team is very very active we have a lot of coverage that comes in our traditional media channels so we are definitely there across all our uh, uh, newspaper and publications when it comes to advertisement sir we are uh, like last year we did a lot of tv uh, i won't say ads what we call banners so what we do is we don't do tv commercials sir what we do is we are present on tv last year we were we did an ad but we did the ad in cinema and we did it online for tv space sir it's extremely expensive and uh, we choose to pick tv we did tv but we did it with banners we had our tickers we had those l shaped banners but we did not do a tv commercial because us is a business which is more efficient we have been very profitable and we don't want to go any other way so we are we concentrate our marketing efforts online we have a lot of social media marketing we have cinema marketing and we also have radio we've used radio in the last two or three years and beyond that we do a lot of outdoor media and digital channels so we've kept our uh, uh, our marketing very focused and uh, we use channels which are very efficient for us uh, tv is a tv is a very expensive channel so we use it carefully okay fantastic uh so it was really nice talking to you on the yes. education part and i also feel education is very important because in country like us people don't know what is happening and you know communication is the most important thing so thank you very much for your time and thank you very thank much you, for your okay. thank you so much sir it's always a pleasure to speak to you now